Hey guys, it's Shan here with Seasons Change. Today I'd like to take you through how I put aluminum footers on my carbon arrows to make them that much stronger. Stay tuned. Alright guys, before we dive into the specifics on how to make these aluminum footed arrows, let's talk about why we want to do this. So carbons are pretty durable by themselves, but if they hit something head on, uh, a hard surface like a rock or maybe a shoulder blade or a rib bone on a large animal uh, or the spine, these carbons have a tendency to mushroom and a lot of times you've probably seen the pictures of the insert pushing right back into the carbon shaft and it just completely like banana peels the shaft. So as you can imagine that completely kills your penetration and you also lose your arrow. So whether you're out stumping and there's a lot of rocks or shooting at groundhogs or you're hunting some big game and you want to make sure that your arrow is going to perform when it hits the target, uh, those are a couple of reasons to use aluminum footers. Why make them yourself? Um, there's a lot of companies out there like uh, Ethics Archery, Gold Tip I think has their own system, Tough Head Broadheads. They've all caught on to the fact that aluminum, uh, aluminum footers or some sort of strengthening device that goes around the front of the arrow is the way to go to really make your arrow bomb proof. And uh, the reason I like to do them DIY is because it's a lot cheaper. I can buy two to three of these aluminum shafts and get a dozen carbons finished with those. So super economical compared to having to buy them and it's just fun to make your own. So if you'd like to stick around and learn how to do that, that's what this video is gonna be about. Okay, so the first important factor to consider if you're going to do this yourself is the diameter of the aluminum footer and the diameter of the carbon that you need to uh, foot. So the first thing you want to look at is the outside diameter of that carbon shaft. The ones that I'm shooting are traditional, gold tip traditional 340s. And I looked up a chart, you can just Google them online, and I found that 2216 aluminums had the perfect inside diameter to match my traditional 340 shafts. So those are the ones I went with. Go ahead and Google whatever you're using and you'll find a chart that shows you what diameter shaft you need. The second thing to consider is the length of your aluminum footer. So there's been a lot of discussion about this. Uh, from what I've been able to deduce, the best thing to do is to make your aluminum footer just about a quarter inch or a half an inch if you want to, longer than your uh, insert. So I'm running gold tip brass inserts in these. They're 100 grain brass inserts. So the goal is to get your footer just a little bit longer than whatever insert you're using. And the reason for that is there's a shear force created at the back of the insert. And so what you want to do with that footer is kind of bridge the gap, spread that force out so it doesn't have that breaking point where your aluminum footer and your brass insert end at the same spot. You want that aluminum footer to extend past it so it kind of bridges that force across and uh, spreads the load out. Okay, so once you've determined the length of the aluminum footing that you want, just go ahead and make a mark for where you want uh, your aluminum footing to end up. And then I do another mark just a little bit past it so that I have some wiggle room. And then when I go to square the aluminum footing, I have some room, uh, some depth to make corrections in it. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So go ahead and make that mark with a Sharpie and then take it on over to your arrow saw. Once you have it over to the arrow saw, I like to put an object next to the saw that I can back that, uh, that aluminum shaft right up to. And once I have that aluminum shaft backed up to it, I just line it up with the line I created with the Sharpie and then rotate through, cut it right off. 
once you've cut it with the arrow saw, I like to take it up. I have a belt sander or a table sander, uh, and on the side, it's got a side profile where you can push it right up and get things square on that side plate. So I take that aluminum, I push it right up against that side plate, and then this is where that little bit of depth that I made comes into play. So I can push it in until I hit that mark for how long my aluminum needs to be. So I'll square up one side, turn it around, and then I'll push that all the way in until it hits exactly that line that I need it to be at. And now I have both ends square, so there's no uneven parts of it. Okay, the last step for preparing these is to get a bevel on your aluminum footings. And the reason you want a bevel is number one, for when you're shooting at game animals, you don't want any decreased penetration. And if you had a hard surface sitting there on the shaft of the arrow, uh, that's gonna stop penetration and increase friction. So you wanna reduce that as much as possible. So what I like to do is put a bevel on the front end of the shaft. That's gonna help that arrow slip right in. Uh, and then I put a bevel on the back end, and that's really more for 3D archery or targets, so you can pull those things out easily. You're not going to rip up your targets and your arrows aren't going to get stuck. To make that bevel, what I do is I take uh, my electric drill, I'll just open up the supports, close it down on the aluminum shaft that you're working with, that aluminum footing that you've made, and then I take a file, mill bastard file, hold it at the angle that you want, uh, and then just start that electric drill, hold that file at the desired angle until you have kind of that bevel that you're looking for. So it's not an exact science. Hold it, you know, 30, 40 degrees. Keep checking it as you're going along until you get exactly what you want. Then flip it around, do the same thing on the other side. All right, once you have it beveled on both ends, you are pretty much there. Okay, the last step is to glue these in. And I'm not explicitly showing this, but it's super self-explanatory. So take your brass insert or whatever insert you're using, glue that in. I use hot melt glue. And then I'm gonna take that aluminum footing with some JB Weld, it's a two-part epoxy, and it's super, super strong. So mix some of that two-part epoxy together, put it on the inside of the aluminum footer, and then put it on the outside of your carbon and just slip that on to exactly where you want it. I like to get my aluminum footers flush with my brass inserts, just personal preference. Uh, you let it sit, I think it's a five minute set time for this JB Weld, and then a 15 minute cure time or an hour cure time, something like that. After that, you've got some bomb proof arrows. So whether you're stumping, shooting big game, uh, or just out target shooting in general, you've got some arrows that are are gonna last you, super durable, and uh, they also add a little bit of FOC and weight to your setup, if that's what you're into. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you got any questions, I know this was kinda a high level review, please leave questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer anything that you guys have. Enjoy, shoot straight.